So before we get into real-time communications, let's take a look at how life was before the advent of real-time communications. Pretty much when you want to look for updates on a site, you'd have to pull it, meaning you'd have to continuously refresh it until you see an update. So as you refresh pages, this is essentially slow and resource intensive simply because every time you refresh a page, you have to wait for it to re-render and load all the information which it has to download with each subsequent uh, request. And on top of that, there's no way of knowing when an update is available. The best you can do is guess. So you continuously refresh, like I mentioned earlier, and you'd have to wait until something comes up. And by the time you actually see this data, it may have lost its relevance. Data may have been out maybe a couple of hours ago, a couple of days ago, and you, you wouldn't know any better. So in comes real time. So with real time communications, you get pushes, you get updates as they are pushed. Basically, as the server has them published, it comes directly to you. You don't need to worry about having to reload your page. And because you don't need to worry about reloading your page on your browser, it is essentially less resource intensive. All data that comes to is pure data, JSON data, for instance. It comes in, the UI on your browser determines how to react accordingly, it re-renders the page, and it retains relevance. Simply because data comes on the fly, and you get access to it for as long as you are on the page. <clears throat> Before you venture into the realm of real time, make sure you have two components set up. For one, you need a real-time enabled server. And on top of that, you need a protocol on the client side, which is essentially on your browser, that allows you to establish a communication line that allows you to transmit data back and forth in real-time, close to real-time, but that's good enough. So for our server side, We'll take a look at using Node.js to build our web server. Now, why is Node.js ideal? One, it's event-driven, making it great for working with web requests. Pretty much any client server request is event-driven. The client makes a request to which the server receives the request, processes it, provides a response, and this continues in a loop. On top of that, Node.js is designed for input-output operations, and HTTP is a form of input-output operation. Additionally, it's built on top of V8, which is essentially Chrome's JavaScript engine. It's therefore very fast, it's lightweight, and it's ideal for our embedded web server. For a real-time protocol on the client side, most browsers provide it via the WebSocket protocol. So why use WebSockets? One, WebSockets provide full duplex communication, meaning data and receive data at the same time, as opposed to HTTP, which is essentially half duplex. The client sends a request. It has to wait for a response before it can send out another request to the same server. Additionally, WebSockets are very lightweight. As far as overhead is concerned, with each WebSocket message you send, its frame consists of only two bytes of data. You don't need to worry about HTTP header overhead, which could be from a couple of bytes up to maybe two, three kilobytes. In fact, there's no limit to how large an HTTP header can be. The limit is defined by the web server that receives it. Like Apache, for instance, caps it at eight kilobytes. I imagine an eight eight kilobyte header out with every single request. Just doesn't seem feasible, especially when you deal with a large number of concurrent connections. On top of being lightweight, WebSockets also reduce latency because you no longer have to send a request and wait for a response for every single message that you want to send to the server. It cuts the latency down by three times, if I'm not mistaken. So. With WebSockets, once you've established the connection, you just send data out and the 
for instance, it takes 50 milliseconds to send data back and forth, as opposed to HTTP, which would take about three times the amount of time. 